Danielle Hills created her jewelry line, Gilding Primal Instinct, during her last year of college and has kept it going for three years, selling pieces via her website as well as Etsy and small boutiques. It's been up and down. It's a real roller coaster. Um, starting it, I knew how much of a risk it was, um, and I didn't necessarily have enough money to put into it to just start it out as a complete entity. I couldn't do all the advertising immediately. I couldn't afford to just bulk up on stock. Uh, so it was just throwing like little bits of money in where I could, getting a little bit, starting, adding to it, and going from there. An independent designer with most pieces ranging from $70 to $200, Hills has the kind of clients who want to keep the source of their unique fashions a secret, which isn't exactly good for business. A few months ago, she took a full-time job as a makeup artist with plans to pack up her business. I've had times where after my shift, I come in and work a couple hours until about 2 in the morning, have to go back at 8.45 in the morning for another shift at the other job, and it's just kind of filling this in wherever I can. But when Lady Gaga showed up at the YouTube Music Awards sporting Hills' dental cuff on her wrist and later in her mouth, everything changed. Unlike Gaga's meat dress, anyone can buy the dental cuff which sells for $180. And the timing couldn't have been better. I'm getting orders daily. I'm getting, you know, all sorts of correspondence and people telling me how much they like the work. And it's been really, really reassuring and wonderful. I'm bringing enough money in to, to sustain it at least a while longer. I believe that as long as I can make it through and, you know, and get such a wonderful opportunity like this too, that I can make it really happen and stabilize it. Hills has high hopes for the future. Custom orders are trickling in, and a new collection is in the works. But for now, Hills will continue to keep the day job. I did a couple years where this was the only thing I did, and, uh, and it's really nerve-wracking. It's really difficult to kind of depend on that. Uh, so I plan on kind of burning the, burning the candle at both ends just a little bit longer and seeing how things go. Matt Stewart, CNN Money, New York.